Joel Schumacher, director of Batman movies and St. Elmo's Fire, dead at 80. Joel Schumacher, an eclectic director whose career ranged from a pair of divisive Batman movies to St. Elmo's Fire, died Monday after a year-long battle with cancer, a representative for Schumacher told CNN. He was 80. Schumacher worked on a wide variety of films, including the teen vampire tale The Lost Boys, the Julia Roberts melodrama Dying Young, the dark satire Falling Down starring Michael Douglas, and a pair of thrillers adapted from John Grisham novels, The Client and A Time to Kill. Still, he was known best in some circles for his affiliation with the Batman franchise, directing Batman Forever and Batman and Robin in the 1990s, in a notable tonal departure from the darker approach that director Tim Burton brought to those movies. In a 2017 Vice interview, Schumacher apologized to fans who were disappointed in those films, which starred Val Kilmer and George Clooney, respectively, saying, I think I owe them that. He added of the famous choice to add a more sexual component to Batman's costume, I just know that I'll always go down over the nipples on Batman starting with Batman Forever. Born in Queens, Schumacher attended the Parsons School of Design at New School University and had worked as a window dresser before coming to Hollywood as a costume designer, including an early job on the Woody Allen science fiction comedy Sleeper. Schumacher became a writer in the 1970s, including scripts for The Wiz and Car Wash, before launching his career as a director with a pair of TV movies, followed by The Incredible Shrinking Woman, starring Lily Tomlin, and DC Cap. Schumacher developed a reputation for identifying young talent, as exemplified by the ensemble casts on St. Elmo's and Lost Boys, which included Demi Moore, Rob Lowe, and Kiefer Sutherland. More recently, Schumacher directed the movie version of the musical The Phantom of the Opera and a few episodes of the Netflix drama House of Cards. Schumacher, who was gay, gave an interview with Vulture last year in which he candidly discussed his life and career choices. Producer-director Brian Fuller tweeted that he remembered learning that Schumacher was gay and out, saying, his visibility mattered, nipples and all. Okay, if you like this video, don't forget to click like button. See you in the next video.